Okay, so we've got one of two options. One, this temple was built millions of years ago, or two, <laughs> its builders were capable of time travel. Hey, it's Indy, welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to watch another temple video. One of my favorite, favorite things to learn about. This is the, oh boy, here we go. Uh, Jalasha, Jalashayana temple in Mah Mahabali Puram. Mahabali Puram, I tried, I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> Mahabali Puram, kind of. Anyway, yes, so supposedly this is a long lost and forgotten temple that you probably haven't even heard of. Maybe not you, but people in general. All right, let's watch. Today, let's take a look at this brilliant ancient temple in Mahabali Puram, known today as the Shore Temple. It's at least 1,300 years old and has a lot of mysterious cool. features. Who is the main god of this temple? Is it dedicated to Shiva or Vishnu? Let's go inside one of the main chambers and see what's inside. Here you can see a spectacular carving in a sleeping position. This is Lord Vishnu and he is resting on a gigantic serpent using the snake as his bed. Oh wow. This carving was done 13 centuries ago and you can see one of his hands is completely gone. A part of his foot is also missing. Wow. Almost none of his facial features are even recognizable. Even in this condition, the statue looks quite beautiful. Imagine how fantastic it would have looked 1300 years ago. I wish we could have seen Even that. Even better, locals remember that this Vishnu would get submerged under water because it is so close to the sea and they would come and visit him with water level up to their knees. This is why this temple was originally called Jalashayana Temple because Jalashayana. it means resting in water. So, is this temple dedicated to Look Lord at how Vishnu? interesting that is. Let's go into another chamber nearby. Wow. This east facing chamber has a gigantic lingam, which is a symbol of Shiva. It has been partially destroyed but you can still see it has wow. 16 facets and it is made wow. of advanced technology. I have explained about the slingam in a different video, but if you go into another chamber, which is facing west, we see there is just a circular hole on the ground. There used to be a lingam in this place, but it was destroyed. On the wall, you can see Shiva and his wife sitting with a baby. Now, this is strange because Shiva has two kids. Who does this carving show? Tell me in the comment section. Historians tell us that followers of Shiva and followers of Vishnu were always fighting against each other in ancient times, but this temple disproves all these theories because we can see how both deities were carved and worshipped in the same temple. Wow. The Shore Temple complex has two towers which look like stepped pyramids and the towers stand about 60 feet that tall is so and interesting. rest on a 50 look feet how green that square is. platform. This is chosen as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its fantastic location and amazing architecture. The Shore Temple is made almost entirely out of granite, although you can see brick and mortar in supporting monuments. It's Mahabali right there on the shore. It's an ancient city and there are various types of constructions found here. This model you see is called structural or built on architecture where rocks are placed on top of one another to build a structure. In Mahabalipuram, you can also see cave temples. 
bar relief structures, which are two dimensional panels. Wow. And Look at even those monolithic temples resembling models of Kailasa Temple. The Shore Temple is one of the very few structural architectures in Mahabalipuram and is made of thousands of granite blocks. The entire complex is decorated with bulls known as Nandis. Originally, the site had 108 Nandis, but many of them have become damaged and have been unique, and I have never seen anything like this. It's an animal, and its head has been cut off. Wow. Not really cut off, it has been carved specifically to indicate that the animal has been decapitated and its head has fallen to the ground. Many people are shocked by this carving and a lot of visitors think this shows that ancient Indians performed animal sacrifices. But does this carving really show animal sacrifice? No, it shows it like a it. scene from ancient texts. Ah. Right next to this, you can see the statue of a lion. And inside this square, there's a deity called Mahishasura Mardini. In Mahishasura Mardini. This goddess fights a demon who's in the form of a buffalo, and she eventually kills him. Depictions of this goddess killing the demon is carved in many ancient sites. You can see the demon completely in the form of a buffalo. And in some other sites of Mahabalipuram, you can see the demon with just the head of the buffalo. But the short temple is the only place Those carvings where are so you can see amazing. the demon with a completely severed head. The deity Mahishasura Mardini must have been a favorite deity in Mahabalipuram Mahish, because it is carved in a lot of different places, including places like Tiger Caves. Mainstream experts believe that this temple was built around 700 AD, but other scholars have claimed that this temple goes back much, much earlier in time, before a time where a great flood struck the earth and submerged the rest of the temples around us. Perhaps this carving could explain the timeline of its construction. This is a strange animal carved in the temple tank. People think of it as a pig or bull. What is that? But this animal does not have a protruding snout like pigs and boars have. If this is not a pig or a boar, what animal does it show? Looks like a capybara. We do not have any animal which looks like this in our current times. But surprisingly, there is an extinct animal known as Deodon. The Deodon looks like a pig, but does not have a snout, and its physical features what? match the carving. But experts claim this animal became extinct millions of years ago. So how was it carved in this temple? Some people will blame the sculptor and claim that he attempted to carve a boar, but it accidentally ended up looking like this. But while exploring mm -hmm. Mahabalipuram, I saw another carving which looks identical what? to the carving what? in Shore Temple. So this is that not looks like an creature. accident or coincidence, but these carvings do show this extinct oh. animal. What? But how is this possible? Was this temple built oh my millions God. of years ago? No way. Or were the sculptors capable of time travel, just like Panchavarna Swami Temple, which also shows extinct animals like the saber-toothed cat? The Shore Temple is considered a very mysterious site. Thousands of devotees come from all over India as it is said to emit strange energy. Each day, the very first rays of sunlight will fall on the 16-faceted lingam 
as it is perfectly positioned to the east. Even though most of the structure is made of granite, the lingam and the topmost stone on the tower are made of a different type of stone. This, which looks almost like a machined metal piece, is actually made of black basalt stone. Even more interesting, black basalt is not a locally available stone, so they had to transport it from a very long distance. Why did they design the temple in this way? Why did they go through so much pain to place black basalt structures on the top and bottom of the chamber? Does this setup really emit some kind of energy which needs to be analyzed? The entire site of Mahabalipuram is known for many strange monuments. I need to visit it this place. It has evidences of ancient machining technology. It has unexplained carvings and is known for its extraordinary stone monuments. Were these structures built 1,300 years ago? Or were they built much earlier in time? Please let me know your this thoughts in the crazy. comment section. I am Pravin Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. My mind is so blown right now. Okay, so what I'm actually thinking a lot about is if the animal, the creature that is carved in the well at that temple is that extinct boar-like creature, which it looks like it is, how on earth did they know what it looked like or, 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 or anything like that? And it's carved not in not one but two places in this temple. So Praveen Mohan's ideas are that its builders were capable of time travel or this temple was built millions of years ago. If a temple were built millions of years ago, would it still be standing and put together like this one is? I mean, you think you look at the mountains or whatever, which may have been formed millions of years ago and they're still standing, but they're not anywhere near the same shape that they were. So how could a temple like this withstand the weather and things for millions of years, but a mountain could not. So what does that leave? Time travel? Oh my God, the possibilities are so crazy. You know, it's just, it blows my mind. I'm so interested. I don't even know why I get so excited about topics like this, but I don't know. I just think it's really neat because no one knows. We're all here just living our lives, kind of not paying any attention to why we're here or what we're doing here. Yet, thousands of years ago, people were living their lives, but there were much stranger things going on. Or maybe the same things were going on that are going on today, but we just don't know about it. Hmm. But again, another really amazing, fascinating video from Praveen Mohan, one of my favorite YouTube people since starting my own channel i love his stuff it is so cool and i would love to visit this place so if anyone has a house or if anyone lives near this this city this town um mahabali param let me know because maybe i'll come visit you <laughs> i'll stay at your place what a fascinating place it's beautiful too it's right there on the shore of course it's called the shore temple right so Oh, oh, this really gets me excited. So neat. And oh my gosh, that lingam, the, the, the way it was carved with the 16 facets and it was so perfectly smooth and all the facets were the same width. Amazing, how did they do that? How on earth did they do that? And if I'm not mistaken, basalt is a very hard rock, very, very hard because it's volcanic. So who knows, who knows? Everyone's aware of some of the most famous temples across the globe, but there are so many smaller, lesser known, if not unknown temples that are equally, if not more fascinating than the ones that everyone knows about. So I just think it's really cool to learn about this stuff that is overlooked. So I definitely want to visit this site. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for your support. You're the best. And if you're not a sub, 
maybe click that subscribe button and join our little family here. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.